Hi from my platform Linda's TV show. If it is your first time, you are welcome. Please, after watching this video, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. It is very, very important because it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. Here we upload videos on daily basis as it is happening. We are bringing it live and direct, undirected to you. After watching, you are free to criticize. You are free to say your opinion, but let us say it constructively myself linda will be standing here watching this video together with you from the beginning to the end then we'll go to the comment section i appreciate you all my loving subscribers followers those who comment and share this video something is certain when victory comes and it's truly a victory of the people you see it on their faces and that's why i ask for those that did win what did they win did they win the confidence of the people or they won the reproach of the people? Do they win the hatred of the people or they won the love of the people? Do they win the people's ability to be part of their own future? Or they took that ability away from the people? Abia people have spoken today and they've been here and they've been heard very loudly across Obingwa and other parts of Abia today. They said it's been 24 years of suppression for them, but now they talk about their freedom. Today their freedom has been put in the hands of Sir Alex, I like to call him, or Alex Oti. Today he's been given the chance to be a knight in the shining armor of Abia. What will it do? Mr. Alex Oti should be reminded that with great power comes great responsibility. And these same people that praise you today can be your worst enemy tomorrow if you don't do well for them. These same people that praise you to the high heavens today can cast the biggest aspersions of you on you if you don't deal with the problem of debt in their states, underdevelopment, and the fact in general that there's been massive corruption that has dwindled their fortunes. These same people that call you hero today can call you villain tomorrow. There is just a fine line between victory and failure. And the truth has to be said. Now you belong to the Avia people. Do right by them. Please. For now, they are basking in the euphoria. Yes. From Uma here, the Abia state capital. Of Yeteme George. Oh my word. <laughs> wow, I love a new story where we can come off it laughing. And truth be told, this is the kind of response that's powerful after the, a victory from an election so keenly fought or keenly sought as we saw in Abia State. I'll let the Enugu story because, I mean, first of all, congratulations to Mr. Peter Mba and Dr. Alex Oti. But let me focus on Abia this morning because there are a number of lessons and it was quite a dramatic win for Dr. Alex Oti. Yesterday, we had had a conversation, you know, quite a detailed conversation on what was going on in Abia State with the coalition halted by INEC following complaints and you know allegations and counter allegations of irregularities by party agents of the Labour Party and the PDP but after the announcement yesterday, there was a clear win by Dr. Alex Oti with a margin of 86,938 to his closest opponent, uh, Mr. Oke Ahiwe of the PDP, almost double of what Mr. Aki, uh, was able to, Ahiwe was able to garner from the votes on Saturday. Now, a few lessons I, I feel or some things I, I believe that we should touch on in terms of reviewing the Abia story. First of all, it means that INEC could halt the process to investigate claims, as was seen yesterday, because the reason why the, the collation was halted was so that they could investigate what the party agents had said, and also the curious case of Obingwa, which almost seemed like a swing state like Florida in the United States of America. However, despite um, sending misgivings and suspicions of INEC's activity, they came back um, to announce Dr. Alex Oti as the winner. One person I have to highlight here, and I must mention, is the state um, 
returning officer of um, Abia State, Professor Nena Oti, whom many people have touted to be the heroine, hero, heroine of yesterday's, um, you know, the actions in the past few days. She mentioned that she would ensure that the mandate of the people is what would stand and would not cave into pressure. And a lot of people are praised. And remember what we talk about that. It's not just the INEC chairman we look at when we talk about irregularities or complicity with INEC. We have to look at the state officials, the state recs, even the polling un unit officers, because every single person across the up the ladder and down the ladder, uh, you know, is, is in, responsible for the outcome of an, of an election. Finally, I'll just say this. Congratulations, Dr. Alex Oti. I hope you hear the cry of the people and that you respond to and justify the mandate that has been given to you by the people of Abia. Dr. Bati? First, I think it's good news that uh, INEC has been able to resolve the matter in Abia State and also in Enugu State. Because as of yesterday, there were protests, there were concerns, but two other states will still need to be resolved. Where elections were not suspended, but declared inconclusive. And that will be Kebi State and also Agamawa State. So we still have two states out of the 20 states where elections were conducted at the gubernatorial and state houses of assembly level, not yet resolved. As for Abia State, well, the issue was in Obingwa. The reason the election was suspended, the, the collation of results, was suspended in Obingwa was because INEC had reported that the Obingwa Coalition Center uh, was attacked by hoodlums and that created tension. The votes had been counted, even with the counting of the votes, it was obvious that Alex Oti, as reported, was leading in 10 local government areas. The candidate of the, uh, of the uh, People's Democratic Party in that state was leading in six local governments. The remaining uh, local government, Osisioma local government area, you had leading there the candidate of the uh, YPP. So even before the suspension of the uh, coalition of results uh, in uh, Abia State, it was clear that Alex Uchi was clearly in the lead. And that's what has now played out with his declaration as uh, the winner uh, of that election in Abia State yesterday. For Alex Oti, well, it must be sweet victory. Because in 2015-20, uh, was it specifically 2019? Yeah. In, in 2015, he had originally been declared, uh, you know, a winner of the election. The matter went to this uh, appeal court where it was upheld that uh, he won. And then when the matter went to the Supreme Court, it was upturned and, you know, kept in favor of, uh, you know, uh, Ifan Yungwai, who then became the governor in that uh, state. So this time around, however, uh, Ikweazu, okay, Governor Ikweazu, okay, Zie Ikweazu. And this time around, he has been declared winner in, uh, in Abia State. So it's a long journey for him. It's something... You fought for. And one thing to note is the excitement of the people, the people dancing, saying this is their second, this is their liberation in Abia State. So the people's expectations are very high. And the expectation from uh, uh, Governor elect Alex Oti, who, by the way, is a member of our family, is a columnist uh, for this day newspaper. Before now, he's been managing director, CEO of Diamond Bank. So he comes to the job with a lot of experience. But it is important that he does not disappoint the people. He has said that he's going to be a servant leader. The last time I heard that was from uh, Niger State, when uh, Muazu Babangida Aliyu uh, was uh, governor of uh, Niger State. And he said he will be a servant leader. So servant leadership is in itself... Uh, uh, you know, an instructive concept. And if he uses that phrase, he must live up to it. In Enugu, where, you know, the PDP has been declared winner, uh, the margin is very narrow, just about 10,000 votes or so. And that was also another keenly contested uh, election. But now, Peter Mba has been declared the winner. The contentious uh, uh, places were in Kano East and Enugu, uh, but as it has happened, uh, you know, in uh, Enugu, 
uh, you know, uh, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, uh, Peter Mba, has been declared uh, winner. Well, we haven't seen as much excitement in uh, Enugu State as we have seen in Abia State. But with that narrow margin, is it possible, is it likely uh, that the Labour Party in uh, Enugu State will go to court? Maybe. Because they are contesting the uh, results from Kano uh, East. But it's good that the uh, uh, INEC has been able to resolve this matter so far. However, to note that Labour Party has been able to win a state in Abia. And that will add you know, to the uh, remarkable run that the Labour Party has had uh, in this uh, particular election with 40 seats in the National Assembly and governorship uh, added to it and many seats at the level of the state houses of assembly. All right, that's the kind of victory that we are talking about. I mean, that's the kind of celebration that Nigeria needs. That's what we want to celebrate, whereby the election, uh, the, the, the process and everything happens according to how people vote, how they trip out, how they cast their full vote, and they, you allow their vote to count. And uh, there's no way they can read that particular election because the margin is so much it's still much the margin is a lot i believe they don't have any choice they don't they do they, there's nothing they can do about it that's why <laughs> this one this one hooked them for for neck so they don't feel regal they don't feel do anything with it so um, that's the kind of uh celebration that someone that have contested that have had a real election that has not rigged that is a kind of a uh, uh, joy the kind of celebration they're supposed to have whereby the whole state the whole country is rejoicing with them not the whole country or half of the people in the country more than half of the people in the country are questioning how you you won the election mm -mm, it's not done that way so where does the people of abia state and i hope alexa how do we do wonders i hope he's coming to work and hope that this will be one of those people that will prove the obedience right that we go the out there as is in uh, he has the power now he will go out there we work for people and turn that state around i hope so I hope so. Like Rufai always said, when you need the people, you know how you reach out to them. Now you have what you want. Make sure you serve the people. Always remember how this whole thing began. Remember where you're coming from. Remember what you have been through. And uh, we hope to see great, great things coming out from that hand. Happy state. Thank you so much for watching again. My name is David Israel. Make sure you share. Share or make sure you share. All right, I'm going to share this one, share this one. And the kind of celebration we'll be saying when they talk about with this. Uh, if people are beyond on the celebrate, I'm going to share this one. Share, I'm a big. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.